abducted in plain sight. The compelling new Netflix documentary that explores the decades old case of 12 year old Jan Broberg, a child who is kidnapped not once but twice by the same perpetrator who is also a close family friend. Jan spoke to Daily Mail TV about how the predator who allegedly raped her for years was able to get away with it and how she feels about her parents' role in her ordeal. She looked up at me, her eyes beaming, and I knew that I had found the little girl that I was searching for. Jan Broberg claims accused pedophile Robert Birch told diabolically infiltrated her entire family when she became the target of his twisted sexual obsession. And then he became my father's best friend and was like the Pied Piper, the most charming, charismatic, fun dad. On October 17, 1974, Birch told, told Jan's mother he was taking her horseback riding, but instead, Jan says she was drugged, kidnapped, and brainwashed by Birch told into believing aliens had chosen her to have his baby. I woke up in the back of a moving motorhome strapped to the bed and a little intercom box was playing in my ear. I immediately thought, I've been kidnapped by a UFO. Jan was missing for more than a month before she and Birch told were found in Mexico. Her parents shockingly dropped the most serious charges, but Jan says Birch told continued to pursue her she was kidnapped a second time. First time I was missing for 39 days, the second time it was almost four months. After not seeing Birch told for 28 years, Jan found herself face to face with her abuser in court. And then I said, if you really feel sorry for what you did, Mr. Birch told, then you should tell the truth and serve your time in jail. Birch told committed suicide in 2005. Now, the new Netflix documentary has thrust Jans' story back into the spotlight, and her parents are facing backlash. They missed some pretty big signs, but they were naive, they were groomed. So even if people are mad at my parents or they want to point the blame somewhere that it doesn't really belong, I'm okay with that, and so are they. They're like, whatever gets people talking, it's all worth it. And we certainly want to thank Jan for sharing her powerful story.